We are live, Mr. Trainer. Oh, well, Teeth Goil, do we have us, everybody? Pub. Teeth Goil, do we have us down, E.T. Dom? Yeah, there you Happy, happy about that. Happy about that, in fact. There it is. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he's got all he's got all the uh, he's got all the graphics for this one. I'm not messing all around today. Hey, talk about no messing around. There is a lot of pub on this session today. You can see them all on the ticker there. Amazing. Yeah, wearable ball. Lot wearable ball. Many people on here. Yeah, Chris Sobau, yeah. welcome. Yeah, all good. To this uh, super special session. Today? What? What have we got going on, bud? Well, we've got uh, two special challenges, all to do with St. David's Day today, and I'm Ooh. so excited to join you here today. I've got my leak on. Uh, Dom, where's your leak? Come on. I've got oh, one here. come on. Do you want to borrow this one? Want... Do you want to borrow this spare when I got you? Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, bad boy. <laughs> Sweet, Sweet. Will, happy. Oh. <laughs> Check that out. You'll never see that on the live stream again. <laughs> You've just broken me with that. I've broken the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we I tell you. We have a it's as if we rehearsed that or something, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just say that. Don't, don't tell people that we did, because we didn't. No, we didn't. That's what I'm saying. No, that was pure improvisation. That was amazing. Right, guys, can we have your comments, please? So, if you're joining us live, please tell your teachers to uh, drop a comment on uh, wherever you're watching this, and we should yeah. be able to see them. We definitely see them from YouTube and probably from other places too. Um, so, drop your comments. Let us know where you are. Let us know which class you're in. Say Deed Gulde, we happy. Tell us happy Saint Saint David's Day. Let's have a fun session today. Oh, who have we got here? Deed Gulde, we happy. Let me try this one. Let me try this one. Yes, I can do this one. Deed Gulde, Derry happy. Can blue in five and six. Him Bachwich. Okay. In Skull Daven Clenetli. Very good. Un Un Skull Daven Clenetli. Un. Okay. Un. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Un. Good. Nice. Do you have Do you have a skull Darwin? How are you there? Yeah. Just down the road from me there, Darwin. They're about, uh, nice. about 25 minutes away from me. There we go. Another one on the screen there for you. Hi there. Christ the word. School. How are you? 70. Welcome. Thanks for joining mm -hmm. us. 70. That's old. Okay. Got another one in there. Mountain Ash. Oh. Who? Go on. I'll give it um, a go. Uh, okay. Uh, Kaigaru. Very good. Kai Garu. Kai Garu yes. Primary in Mount Get in there. Right, yeah. I'm on a roll here. Hang on. Dos Bath. Trevoris. Trevoris. Capalulo. Whoa. Capelilo. Capelilo. Yeah. Okay. Dui Gavalchi. You do, I, I noticed you, oh. you uh, I noticed that you ducked out there after the school name. <laughs> Big time. That one just filled me with absolutely immense fear. <laughs> In Dwi Gavalchi in Conwy. Shumai Shuri Chi Kroiso, welcome. Who else have we got, Tom? Yeah, there we go. Dwi Gavalchi Hapis Blwydd in Pedwar, Pimp a Chwech, and Ysgol Gronant. Kroiso i Chi. Gronant. Okay. And then, oh, Dosbarth Eagles. Pranaun da. We are here five and six from Dre Hopkin Primary School. Nice. That's, that is the... Dre Hopkin. Dre Hopkin. Yeah. Kim, so it'd be a, it's, a, it's a hard see. Okay. Gotcha. Yes, yes. Always. Every time in Welsh. Eagles. Man, they sound like an, like an American football team. That's amazing. That's cool. Dos Bart Eagles. Right. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's get on with it, guys. So uh, today we are going to be following two challenges. And if you want to see these, oh, Scott Bank for Svelen. That's... Uh, that's that's my stomping ground. That is that's where um, half of my family are from. Bank for Svelen. So Christ, nice. and a skull kegidva blew in dire tree. Shumai. Gotcha. Oh, there's too many now. We're gonna have to. This has to be the last one. Yeah. Eve, good we'll, we'll, we'll look at them in a bit. But yeah, well. can blew in pimp a skull penabrin by Colwyn. Right. Yeah, we'll do. Nice. We'll do. Get your comments in, and then we'll do a shout out when we take a break um, to, yeah. for you guys to catch oh, up in a bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of which, let's talk about. 
uh, digital leaders? Because obviously we do this. It's not just a St. David's Day special. We do oh, no. these nearly every week. And we've got yeah. some rules in Adobe Digital Leaders Club. And the rules are thus. <laughs> Where are they? There they are. Now that you've got your graphics, you love these rules. I do. Right. So rule number one. Guys, if we're going too fast for you, then please pause us. Saying that, I'm going to be showing you how to use the uh, browser version of Adobe Express in today's challenges. And Dom is going to be showing you how to follow the first challenge on an iPad. So you may not really need to pause because we're going to be going back and forth. So we're going to be doing it twice anyway. But if we are going too fast, then just pause us, okay? And then carry on when your class is ready to carry on. Rule number two is claim your swag. Now, if your teachers have registered for this session and they, haven't just, and they haven't just jumped on the YouTube stream, <laughs> then you will receive, your teachers will receive an email where they can claim free swag for everybody in your class that has completed today's challenges. Now, if, yeah. if your teachers are sitting there and they're thinking, ooh, I didn't register, then that's fine. You could register right now for today's session, okay? And you'll get yeah. that email. You can register. Yeah. The link to register is at the bottom of the screen there. It's bit.ly slash Adobe Leaders. So if you haven't registered for today's session, do it right now so that you can claim the swag for your class. Okay? Yes. And then our final rule is Adobe Leaders. This is all about digital leaders. And what is a digital leader, Dom? Well, a digital leader is someone who goes and teaches their skills to other people in their school, quite frankly. Absolutely. So yeah, that's it. So if you, if you take the skills that you've learned today or on any of our other Adobe Digital Leader sessions and show them to another class in your school or maybe to some teachers who have never used Adobe Express before, that makes you a digital leader. And that means that you are eligible for VIP swag. VIP swag. Okay. Also, those are rules. Just a quick note to say that uh, there may be a slight delay because we're actually ordering some new swag, different swag. If you've received swag before, it's different swag. So it might be a bit of a delay, but get your name in anyway. That's the yeah, best get way. Get your name in. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Okay. Enough of that. Let's get on with it. So to get yeah. to today's challenge page, that's all you need to do. Let's get everything off the screen. That's all you need to do, guys, is follow the link that's on the bottom of your screen right now. Yeah. Um, there we go. Let's get it up. Uh, nice. So it's bit.ly forward slash St. David 24. Okay. It's here. Bit.ly forward slash St. David 24. Now, when you get to this page, when we scroll down, we can see today's first challenge, which is creating a St. David fact flag. And on this flag, we're going to, we can, first of all, we're going to design St. David's flag because in Wales, we've got two national flags. We've got the Welsh dragon, obviously, which is the best flag in the world. And then we've also got St. David's flag, which is a yellow cross on a black background, which you're going to see a lot of around the, around, uh, the, the media in Wales today. So we're going to design uh, St. David's flag. And then we are going to use AI to generate images telling part of David's story. Okay. Yeah, but if you're on the iPad, you're going to use Adobe Stock and create something that looks even better. Or maybe yeah, so if, you're on, if you're on the iPad, you're going to be doing the same challenge uh, without the AI bit because that's coming soon to the iPad. Um, yeah. And then we're then going to move on to challenge number two, where we're going to draw and animate this cool Welsh dragon and these cool daffodils. Um, but this one is for browser only. You won't be able to do this on an iPad. So iPad, uh, folks, um, you'll be following along for challenge one. And then when we get to the end of challenge one, uh, you can drop off then uh, when we're doing challenge two. And the drawing tools are coming soon to iPad. We don't know quite when, but the word is soon. Right. Let's jump in, Dom. Yeah, I okay. am express. Hey, listen, yes. What I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna present now. There might be a little bit of a glitch in the matrix while I do that. Uh, oh, yeah. But you can control if you wouldn't mind, just so I can get this up because I didn't do it beforehand and that was silly. What you want uh, me to do? I want you to. Hey, glitch in the matrix! Oh no! Look at that! What's happening? Yeah, that's better. Right. Uh, before you go and steam ahead yes. uh, by getting on with the first challenge, let me just let me just set iPad people up, and then we can all do things on your screen. Then after that, right? Yeah. 
Uh, at the top, you've got all sorts of different things. Just go to flyers, dead easy. Double tap to edit the text. I just one tapped it and then delete down the bottom there. Good. Then right over the right hand side at the bottom, resize, go there, scroll along and go to standard. I'll go to a landscape three, two, because that is roughly a flag size flag. Right. That's how you do it. Right. Mirelli, I'm going to switch back over to you so you can get started. Go, go, go. Right, so here I am on the Adobe Express dashboard. So we're going to be working, first of all, with a, a landscape canvas. So to start off a landscape canvas, that's all you need to do is click on the big blue plus in the top left-hand corner. And then we are going to choose from the standard sizes, this one in the middle, which is landscape, landscape. So click on that, and it's going to bring up a blank canvas for you. Lovely. So it is a yellow cross on a black background. Now, of course, you could just set your background color to black at the top here, but I want this to look like material. I want it to look like fabric. So I'm actually going to go into the elements. So over on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see elements. I'll click on that. And then up at the top, I'm going to click on backgrounds. And you could search in here just for the word black. Oh, you're going background first, are you? Yes, of course I am. Why would I do anything else? Well, uh, <laughs> okay, yesterday never happened. <laughs> you could search, you could search oh, in here yeah. for the word black because there's loads of really cool stuff in there. But I wanted to look like fabric. So I'm just going to put in black cotton. You could put black fabric or black silk or black wool or black Can I just silk. make a comment? Can I just make a comment? You, well, you, nothing stops you from making comments, Dom. So you well, there you go. That's my, my way of saying pipe down. Uh, if you're on the iPad, uh, go to Adobe Stock Photos and search for this. It's easier. Yeah. So I'm going to click. I like this one here. So I'm going to click on it, and it's going to add it to my background. Now, uh, I like it, but the white bits are a bit too bright for me. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, close this element panel down. I'm going to click on my background. And I want to add a darken effect to it. So I'm just going to click on effects here. And up at the top of the effects, you'll see darken. And it'll darken it immediately, but I want it to be even darker. So I'm going to click on that settings button. And then I've got this intensity toggle, which I can slide to the right. Intense. And that's <laughs> crisscross. And <laughs> I've got that now to the level that I want it to be, where I can have this nice texture, but it's not too glaringly obvious. Right. Yes. A cross, a yellow cross. I'm going to go back into the elements. Here I go. Elements where he's on. Click your elements button there. And up at the top, we're going to go to design assets. And this time, I'm going to look for uh, yellow paint. Yellow paint. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want a kind of single stripe of yellow paint. So this one could work well. This one would work well. And then if you scroll down, that would work. That would work. And if you keep scrolling down, that would work. And if you keep scrolling down, you hit a big set of them. Here we go. These would these, oh, Nearly yeah. all of these would work. Anyway, the one I prefer is this one here. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to add it to my page. Now, when I resize this now to fill the width of my design. Very nice. That stripe is a bit too thin. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out to my canvas by clicking up here where it says 99%. Zoom out to 50%. There we go. And now I can actually make this paint stripe even bigger. There we go. And I can decide then right, which bit of this do I actually want to see. And I like this bit. It's a bit like, uh, it looks a bit like this, doesn't it? It looks like your leek. Yeah. Are you, what are you going to make with your leek, Dom? You're going to make a nice cowl. Oh, a leek and potato soup. Yes. Love a leek so, and potato soup. You, you should make a nice lamb cowl out of that. It'll be lovely. Oh. <laughs> yes. Right. Come on. My iPad people are chomping at the bit here. Come on. I'm chomping at the leek. Right. So I'm, gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, Duplicate this yellow uh, stripe, okay, by selecting it. And then in the top left, we've got uh, the duplicate button up here. So that's obviously going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to use the rotate tool, which is underneath the uh, 
the design asset there, rotate it to 90 degrees, and then I'm going to just bring it across so that I get that nice pink center line there. Um, and there we go. I'm going to zoom back into 100%, and there's my flag of St. David done. I told Dom, I told Dom that yesterday that uh, that us Welsh boys growing up in the eighties, uh, we used to we used to actually have a leak as big as Dom's, and we used to carry it to school, and then everybody would eat it a lot during the day. <laughs> I didn't believe him. It is true. Ask your teachers if they ate leeks, ate raw leeks on St David's Day. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. There's a lot of mad things that happened in the eighties, but that just can't be true. Right. I'm right. Right, do you know what, Dom? I'm going to have to. My, I've just had a message on the screen saying my mouse has just run out of battery. So, um, oh, wow. Well, you got some uh, time then. You? Over, over to you, Dom. Yeah, no worries. Right. Enough of that nonsense there. If you want to catch up on the desktop now, you've got some time. Uh, I won't take as long as Meredith. He takes forever. Right. If you're on the iPad, go to add in the bottom left. Give it a click. Adobe Stock is the way to go here. It's much faster this way. You don't have to mess around doing all that other nonsense. Right. And then in the top right, uh here you can you can search for black cotton i mean there's loads of different ways that you can actually do this i'm so gonna go black cotton and actually i played around with a few of them and actually i think the one that i liked was yeah kind of down here this one here you can see where that little spinny spinny wheel is going round and round and then it'll give me an add one right at the top next to where i tapped uh i typed even black cotton add one and then it's going to say, what do you want to do? Well, I want to pin it to the background. You see, that's why it's a quick sort of a quick fix. Now, uh, you can adjust it uh, by going to looks. You could darken it up. There we go. That's nice. Gives us a bit of texture. I like that. That'll do. And then done in the bottom right. You see, I told you it wouldn't be as long as that man. Oh, he's back. He's back. Um, we won't, we won't just forget this. said that. Right. Now, bottom left again. Go to add. He's too busy concentrating intensely. Going to go to design assets there in the bottom left. Do you see it there? And then this is where, you know, again, you can search for yellow paint. I mean, there are millions of ways that you could get to this. I'm going to go yellow paint. And for, for whatever reason, the the search results are different uh, oh, yeah. than they would in the browser. But if you go down, I like them around about these ones here because they're, they're sort of long and thin. That's what I'm looking for. Although you could go for a chunkier one like, one of these up here, but I think they're too chunky. So I will go for something like this one. See that one there? Now it's got the blue tick, so I can go to add one. And now you're thinking, well, what's all that about? That's rubbish. Well, just click done in the bottom right for now. Okay. And then I'm just going to zoom so I've got some space on my screen. I'm just doing that by pinching, pinching on the iPad screen. I get some space and then select my thing there. Now, you can do this either way. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to stretch it out. Nice. Wait till the dotted line comes. Where are you? There it is. Okay, cool. And then while you're on looks here, you can see looks in the menu down here. You're just doing exactly what Manetta did before. But this time you, but you can go to Duotone, right? And then you can see the little sliders on there. It's automatically changed to blue. Well, that's no good. So click the sliders. Then uh, I'm going to go for the black and yellow. It changed it to be kind of yellow, but if you press the sliders again, you'll get the option, you see, to change the color of the shadows and the highlights. Now the shadows are black, the highlights are yellow. If you change these shadows to yellow as well, you'll get a much more vibrant yellow. Yeah, boom, nailed it. So done in the bottom right again, and then done again, and then done again, and then select it, go to edit, go to duplicate you see the two little boxes with the plus in it there it is that one duplicate it i've got another one here now and then spin spin the wheel and then you know i could move it but i actually want it to be quite chunky so i'm going to just bring that in there looking splendid if i do yes. say so myself if you want to make the other one uh you know a bit more um widthy thick, <laughs> like one, a bit widthy then <laughs> All white, yes. Yeah, yeah. all white. You can do either. Don't discriminate. <laughs> and then uh, with the, <laughs> and then I go there. And then you might just need to like align it up again. There we go. Done. Look at that. 
did I in half the time of Meredith Jones? Nonsense. I'm not right, sure about that. Take it back. Take it back. I'm not sure about that. My mouse is at full battery, you know. There we go. <laughs> How did that work? It's not. No, it's not. It's on one percent, which is terrifying. So if it goes, <laughs> yeah, it is on. It is on one percent. There we are. Right. So next, let's get some fact about St. David's life. So on our challenge page, if you scroll down to challenge one, I've got some ideas here for you. Now you can use some stuff you've been finding out about St. David yourself, or you feel free to use these. So we're going to need three facts about St. David, because we're going to fill three of the kind of quadrants of that flag with fact, and then we'll have a title on the fourth quadrant. So I'm going to start off with this first fact, which is that David, St. David was born on a cliff top, on a stormy night. It's dramatic, <laughs> isn't it, Dom? Love it. Absolutely love that. Yeah. And the, and the, and the, the place where he was born, uh, when he was born, a, uh, a spring sprang forth from the ground and uh, is still there today. And a chapel was built on the spot as well. And the ruins of that chapel are still there. So you can actually visit uh, the spot where St. David was and born. They were busy, weren't they? They were really busy. What? They didn't mess around. They did a lot of things. Oh, yeah. They didn't hang around, these saints. They built yeah. a chapel. They did all yeah. sorts of stuff. Blimey. You've got to work hard if you want to be a saint, Don. Right. Now then. Well, that's true. So to do this, we're going to use uh, Adobe Firefly, which is the AI built into Adobe Express. So click on media on the left-hand side. And then under photos, I'm going to use text to image. So I'm going to click on text to image. And I want a square image because that's going to fit really nicely up in this corner here. I'm actually going to crop it down to a circle, but that's kind of going to be the size of what I want it to be. Okay. Now in the text to image panel on the left, you can type what you'd like to see. So um, St. David was born around uh, in the 500s. So that's, that's the medieval period. And uh, his mother, Non, was a princess from one of the uh, local tribes. So I want a medieval princess. <laughs> Mr. Young, you legend. Mr. Young. Oh, yes. The <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Young and your class for reminding us that we need to name our project. We will do that uh, now. We'll do it right uh, once I've done this. Medieval princess holding a baby. Right, what do I want in the background, Dom? Oh, well, I think uh, if you're talking about the medieval period, as a scholar of the medieval period, I would say that you probably want something like stained glass. No, I want a stormy oh. night in the background. <laughs> no, you're jumping the gun. You're jumping the gun there, Mr. Trainer. Right, oh. so I'm going to generate that. So what it does then, it's going to give you four results based on the text that you typed in. Now, those four results aren't image searches. Those are brand new images being created uh, based on the prompt that you've typed in. Cool. These are really cool. Nice. And if you're not quite happy with them, you can just click on load more and you'll get another four. The only thing is that, yeah, I'd like this to look a little bit more ecclesiastic because there are over 50 <laughs> churches in Wales named after St. David. So it'd be cool if these... Uh, story panels looked as if they were in a church. So let's, at the beginning of our prompt, put in stained glass. Very nice. It look like a stained glass window in a church. So stained glass, medieval princess holding a baby, stormy night in the background. Let's generate again. Very cool. And let's see what it uh, pops up. Dun, 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 dun. By yeah. the way, I'm on standby. I've got I've got all projects in all types of platforms. If your if your battery goes, oh brilliant, so worry brilliant. Not, worry not. So, these are great. Uh, I like this one. Uh, I like the storminess of this one. Maybe yeah, I'll go for that. Great, I think. Yeah, that first one really so, works. That first one's great. So I'm happy with that. Once you're happy with your image, you can close down the text to image panel by clicking on this X. And uh -huh. now you've just got the normal image editing uh, options that you get with any image at all. And what I'm going to do is crop that to a circle. Okay, so I'm going to hit crop, circle, click away, and that image is now cropped to a circle. And whilst we're at it, thank you, 
Uh, Mr. For Young. Reminding us, Mr. Young, we need to yeah. uh, save this as St. David Fact Flag. Nice. Well done, Mr. Young and class. Fantastic yes. work. Right. Now, I'm going to pass over to Dom, but before, yeah, I, pass, before, the, before I pass over to Dom, I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do next. I'm going to, um, whilst Dom's showing you how to get some images in, I'm going to follow the same process as I did to pr produce this image to uh, produce, I like this one. So David told Welsh soldiers to wear leeks in battle to identify each other. Okay, when they were fighting the enemy, they didn't recognize who was on their side and who wasn't. So David told them because they were fighting in a leak field, he said, pull up, pull up the leaks and put them in your hat so that you recognize them. And that's why that's why we wear leaks on St. David's Day. So I'm, go. I'm going to um, sort out an image like that whilst we pass over to Dom. Oh, there we go. You're ready now. You're going to pass it. You go on. You click it on. Oh, I'll do a few. All right. You click it over. Come on. Uh, I mean... No, it's not. You, I can't. Oh, there it is. It's down the line. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Honestly, do you know what? Oh, yeah. He said he was going to pass it over to me about five minutes ago, and oh, he didn't. Sorry. Did he? And sorry. He didn't. Sorry. So there you go. Anyway, uh, if you're on the iPad, you can go to Add, bottom left. Yeah, you can go to Adobe Stock, and then you can have fun with searching for photos. Like, for example, if you were going to do um, Cliff. Uh, storm, ocean, something like that. Cliff, storm, ocean. You get all sorts, all sorts of stuff. I like it. Oh, maybe uh, a stormy night. Cliff, stormy night might be a good one. So, oh, I couldn't find anything. Cliff, storm. <laughs> maybe like Cliff, storm, sea, something like that. Oh, that even made it even, even narrower, which is strange. Let's go Cliff, stormy, ocean. Do you know what? It could actually be better if it was storm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes maybe. There we go. That's that's kind of better. And I like... Mm, I like this one here. That one there. I think it's good. And it's a bit bright because, it, you know, it was sort of like it was meant to be born in the nighttime. But, or at least as legend would have it. Um, now, here it says, choose where to add. Add to collage. No, thank you. Move freely. Yes. Click move freely. Good. Right. This is good. Now you can adjust the looks. It's kind of, to be honest, it's a bit confusing because you go to adjust, but that's actually for like positional. Uh, if you go to looks, you could go to darken. There you go. That's not bad. Or you can make it like uh, dramatic. Uh, you go to a duotone, press it again, and then maybe cycle through here, see what you get. Maybe flip those around. No, that didn't work. Like that one. Oh, nice. I mean, you can try anything, really. It doesn't really matter. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Kind of like that one. Cool. Right, I'm going to go done. Uh, stormy night. And then I'll go to edit, I think, because what I want to do here is crop and shape. See the one uh, second from the left down the bottom there, crop and shape. See, I've just grayed it out there. And then what I'm going to do here is just going to put it to a circle. You see the second one in from the left? There we go. Click done. Nice. And then you can just pop it over there. Now, size-wise, just you know, put it in and then press Done. And now I'm going to pinch to zoom out. And what I'm looking to do with this, you get it in the right place. Now, that I think roughly that is exactly what I want to do with it. I might go back to Enhance, uh, sorry, Looks again, and just go to None. Actually, that's better. That, that, it's not messing around with the, uh, with the effects there, I think, or the looks. I think it looks better like that. That's good. And then another one was uh, leaks. They were going to wear their leaks in battle. So again, you go to add, you go to Adobe Stock. And here you can go for, obviously, you would go for leaks. Okay, nice. Right. Uh, there's a man with leaks wearing sausages. I'm not going to use him. That wouldn't be a good idea. Uh, but I will use something like this one right in the middle there. And then once it comes through, I'll go to add one. And you can just do this for all of the ones that you want because we're going to do three uh, because and then again, move freely here. And then I can go to edit, crop and shape. Yeah. Go to circle. Go to done. Nice. And then well, a little tip is you can put it over the other one and then you can match up the size. 
Uh, it doesn't have to be exact, but like roughly. There you go. It's roughly the same size. That's good. Drag it down. Then you can align it as well. You can see where all the dotted lines are coming. That's nice. Uh, I mean, it's out by like a millimeter, but uh, to the naked eye, that's okay. Right. That'll do. There we go. Mered, do you want to show us some uh, yeah. magic? Cool. Go on. Oh, shall I do it? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. There we go. So I've got I've generated two images. So you can see here, and, and I loaded more a few times, but they're so cool. I searched for uh, stained glass medieval knight. That's all I searched for. And uh, you can see the results are amazing. Phenomenal. I mean, I'm not sure what's going on there, to be honest. But yeah, it's, cool. it's cool. It's very cool, but I have no idea what it is. Right. <laughs> So I went with this one. I thought this uh, that she looked really mean in her cool suit of armor. So I like that. And then for this image, uh, what, an, another one of the um, bits of St. David's story was that when he was young, uh, he restored his teacher's vision. So his teacher was, not, it was named uh, Palin or Paulinus. Uh, and uh, Paulinus was an old man and he went blind. And St. David um, raised his hand to Paulinus's eyes and restored his vision. So cool. for, for that uh, image, I just searched for, let me just go back into it, stained glass, medieval, old man and young boy. Okay, and I, I, I was quite happy with all of those, really. They're all pretty cool. But I went with yeah. that first one. But I want to talk to you now about generative fill because both of these images are cool, but neither of them are perfect for what I want. Because obviously the, this one, I want the soldiers to be wearing a leak. That's the whole point of the story. So with our image selected, we've got generative fill. Now you can use generative fill on any image you want on Express. It doesn't need to be something that you've created using AI. And what I could do, if I click on generative fill, it's this kind of startled looking cat. Uh, click on that. And it gives you a paintbrush. Now, that paintbrush is too big. So let's bring down this brush size. And you can paint where you'd like to add something. So I'm going to paint here on my soldier's suit of armor there that I'd like to see uh, leaks or a leak. And in here, I can just type leaks. And it's not just going to kind of grab a random picture of a leak. It's actually going to look at the whole image. It's going to work out, okay, this is in some kind of stained glass artistic um, kind of style. And it's going to produce what you want to add in a style which fits with the rest of the design. So that's really cool, right? So it looks yeah. like, like that leak is part of the stained glass. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. very cool. I could go with that top one, I think. So we've got that. Uh, that's done. I'm happy with that. And you could just load more as well if you weren't quite happy with it. But I'm happy with that. I'm going to crop that to a circle. Perfect. Right. Now then, this other one uh, of St. David with his teacher, Paul Linus. Um, well, it's cool, but he doesn't look very blind, does he, the teacher there? So I think I'm going to... I want... I. I just like his eyes to be closed. You know, I think that would just tell the story a bit better. So again, mm -hmm. I can use generative fill. I can zoom in on this image and then I can just paint over his eyes like this. And if I just type in eyes closed in there. This is going to be crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. It's having to think about it, and it's going to give me basically three options of eyes closed in a stained oh, glass, oh, in, a st that. in a stained glass style. Crazy. Is that amazing or what? Yeah, that's incredible. It is incredible. And yeah. now that's perfect. So let's just crop that to a circle as well. Brilliant. Click away. And then what I'm doing here, maybe you're wondering what I'm doing, but I'm, I'm lining the top of this circle up with the top of the, the this one here because the one of uh, St. Non with the baby David is the perfect size. So I'm going to line this up using the pink lines and then I'm going to grab this bottom handle here and shrink it down till I get another pink line showing me that I'm in line with the bottom of that. And now I know that this is exactly the same size as the others. Right, let's bring that down there. And there we go. Right. I'm, shall I move on to text? Yeah, you've done images, haven't you? 
Yeah, but um, let's give something for these people's. Uh, let's give something for iPad people to um, to have a go with. I think that would be cool. Uh, yeah. While you load up your text, right? Okay, conscious. Thirty-five minutes to go. We can get this done in five, can't we? No problem. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, you've got your three images. I went for beekeeper for my third one. Oh yeah. Um, and that was quite cool. Uh, but also, what I wanted to show was if you go to add, and then go to shapes. Uh, if you go, I mean, actually, do you know what I might do is I might go to add, and go to design assets, and then go to something like uh, circle. Uh, what do we get? Ooh, you could do something funky with something like this. Uh, maybe like something like that. I want the one in the bottom on the bottom left of my screen there. Go to add one and let's put it in there. And then you could go to looks, uh, duo tone, press it again. And then you could go for like white and white. So yeah. the shadows need to be white, the highlights need to be white. And then you can use that and then just pop it behind your photos. Let me just get that in the middle and resize it. It's being very stubborn. Let me go there. There we go. Press done. And then you could bring it up here, make it a bit larger as well. Right. There's one. That's good. Edit it. Duplicate it. Now, I don't want to keep this in front of them all, but I'm just duplicating them when they're the right size. You can put one on each one. And then you go to order and bring it down the order until it's behind. That's quite cool. I love that. Yeah. I quite like that. And then you can do it the same. Go to order and then just press it until it goes behind the photo. There we go. And it just gives you a little bit of interest, I think. I mean, actually, it looks quite good when it's on the top as well, actually. Uh, but there you go. That's just something that you can do in order to make it a bit more stylish than it was before. There we yeah. go. Nice. Okay. Do you want to you want to start off with text? Yeah, let's do it. So, oh, you're doing it. Thanks, Bring God. it. Okay, let's get our text. So, uh, yeah, you've inspired me there, Dom. I like that. I've just gone into the design assets and I've I searched for light. Yeah, let's, that was a good one as well. If you could just grab like a, a a big pool of light. Yeah. Center it up on your images and then just pop it behind. Yeah, and it looks yeah, like. Nice. I yeah. wonder if there's like um, a screen mode that you could do as well, a blend mode, sorry. Yeah, maybe you could well, pop it in the front. Yeah, and then you yeah. could you See could put a, oh maybe multiply. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it yeah, is nice. Could... It's done something there on on the uh yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, I, think nice. I think popping it behind maybe is yeah. Yeah. Anyway, maybe you right. make the circle smaller. I don't know. Yeah. I will mess around with that now. In fact, I'm just going to delete it and keep mine simple. Okay, but you feel free to mess around with that, guys. So let's let's look at text. So I'm going to get my title in the bottom left, okay? And I'm going to say St. David's Day, uh, March the 1st, and then one of, well, St. David's most famous saying. He had a few famous sayings, but his most, of course, is do the little things. Remember to do the little things in life. Don't worry about the big stuff. Just do the little things. Yeah. So let's get my text. So I'm going to click on text, left-hand side. And then I'm going to choose add your text up at the top. And it's going to give me a text box. And I'm just going to write down St. David's Day. And then return down to the next line, March 1st. Okay. March 1st. So, you always do that, don't you? You always go March 1st. Is that like, um? is that a Welsh yeah. thing? Yeah, well, in Welsh, you say mouth the cuntaf. So yeah, I suppose uh, I'm, just, uh, I'm just translating literally. Yeah. I suppose, yeah. yeah. So um, you can say it the other way around as well. You could say can't have all vowed, but it's just a bit more awkward, really, in Welsh to do it that way around. Right, okay. so I'm going to align my text to the left, but this is terrible. I, I'm going to be popping it down to the bottom left-hand corner, so I obviously can't have black text. I'd like my text to be exactly this color, of ye color yellow. So oh, yeah. with my text box selected, over on the left-hand side, we can see the fill color is currently black. So if I click on that... Uh, you could go into custom and kind of try to mix that yellow color yourself, but it's may way easier to use the pipette, the eyedropper. I'm going to click yeah. on that, hover over the color we want, click on it, and now the text is in that exact shade of yellow. Right. This font, it's very clear, but it doesn't really shout, you know, 500 
BC, yeah. uh, 500 AD um, monks. So let's no, look for uh, in... let's look for an old printed Bible kind of font. So there you are there is a set in there instead of March. What's that? You got Marth instead of March. Oh, okay. I'll change that now. Oh yeah, mouth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, I I like these fonts. These I M fell. They look like um, they look like old printed books. So uh, I'm going to go for this one here. I like this uh, kind of capitalized one. So I'm going to choose that. Set that as the font. Let's change Marth to March. There we go. Cool. Um, I want to tuck. I, I want to tuck the M up closer to the S. I want to, there to be less of a gap between these lines. So to do that, you just go to this button here, which is the line spacing, and drag that toggle to the left, not too far, otherwise you crash into each other like this, uh, and bring it down. Saying that, I could change my capital M there to be a lowercase M. Yeah, and now I can bring that right up. That looks better for me. Yeah. And I'd, I'd also like to have an outline to my text. So I'm just going to drag this outline thickness toggle to the right hand side. I'm going to go pretty extreme with it. Now it just gives you a, a darker version of the color that you already got on the text. I'd like this to be dark, uh, not black, because with black, you barely you can barely see the outline. So I want kind of a dark gray. Um, there we go. Something like that. I think that's, that's lovely. Right. Oh. So I've got that first bit of text done. So right, now... Let me do that bit. Let me do that, that bit. Yeah, you go let for me it. Do that bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's get up here. Right, so I've actually moved my beekeeper over to the left there. Uh, and then I'm going to go to add, go to text. So if you're on the browser, you can catch up here. But also if you're on the iPad, you've got a little bit of magic you can do here because you've got the microphone button just by your space bar there. Oh, yes, you and have. You say... You can press it. St. David's Day. Ah, now what's happening here is I'm going to say done, get rid of all of that nonsense. Because I, knew it, I thought this might happen yesterday and actually didn't. Oh, uh, not save time. There we go. Change it to English. Right. St. David's Day, 1st of March, isn't it? Right. Microphone. St. David's Day. 1st of March. Right. So it's given me all like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit text. And then I'll just go in there. And I can also just take out the posture, the, the comma as well. And then I could also put on a new line. I could also maybe put it all in caps there. St. David's Day, 1st of March. Now, things like... A line, oops, hang on, I need to go to a line. I'm going to go right a line. Uh, I'm going to go to color. I'm yes. going to go text color. And now you see you've got the eyedropper tool. You can just put your finger on it and then go and get that yellow. That's nice. Click on done. And then go to font. Uh, now I think the one that I'm looking for. I mean, just go and play. It doesn't really matter. We don't get quite as many options as you would do on the iPad, but there's one over here, Germania, Germania. That'll do. That's nice. And then I need to go to effects, I think, and put an outline on it. Let's go there. Now, it's giving me a bizarre color. That's fine. So let me go to press that color, and then we're looking for like a dark gray. That'll do. Click done. Line thickness, bring it right up. Thank you very much. Click done again. And then I'm just going to zoom out a bit, grab that text, bring it over here, and then I can resize it until it's kind of positioned in the right place. Now, in terms of the outline color, didn't like that at all, actually. It needs to be a darker gray. Uh, maybe even go along and get something like this. This will do. There you go. That's fine. Okay, we've got our first section in there. Meredith, show us the next section, please. Absolutely. All right. Let's duplicate this text so that we get uh, St. David's favorite famous saying. Now, sometimes when you are clicked into a text box, you aren't allowed this, 
this duplicate button is grayed out. Mine isn't at the moment, so it's fine. If it is grayed out and you can't duplicate, that's all you need to do is kind of click away from your text box and then oops, click away on something else and then click back on it and then duplicate will be fine. Um, yeah. Sometimes that happens. Okay, so I'm going to change the text in here to do the little things. Dot, dot, dot. The reason we put the ellipsis in is because that's not the full quote. There's kind of, there's a, there's a longer bit to that, but that gives you the general message. So I'm going to search again for those IM fell fonts, and I'm going to look for one which isn't in all caps, because it's a bit shouty, isn't it, to be in all caps. So <laughs> I'm going to go for... Uh, you live your know. life in all caps. I don't, know what you I don't know what your problem is. What? You live your life in all caps. Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> Do you say that I shout a lot? Is that what you're trying to say? No, 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 no. Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pop that in. There we go. I'm happy with that. And just to change things up a bit, I'm gonna switch the color scheme. So I'm gonna hit this switcheroo button here, which is gonna flip the colors around, which looks cool. And now for the text explaining each one of these images, I'm just gonna duplicate this uh, text box that I've just been working on because I like the font. There we go, do the little things. For this, I want to switch the colors back. So I want them to be back the other way around. There we go. Now then, what was the first message? Well, uh, David was born on a clifftop on a stormy night. David was born on a cliff top on a stormy night. Okay, now that's one big long line of text at the moment. But with Express, you don't need to worry about hitting enter to break your lines. Okay, that's all you need to do is grab this guy, this little, lo this long handle here. And if I drag now, it keeps the text the same size, but it actually uh, breaks the lines for me. Oh, yeah. Do you remember I, I changed my line spacing, didn't I? On the... Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. that's why that's a bit crushed. So I'll just spread the lines out a bit. And if I'm going to pop this here, for me, it doesn't make much sense that I get this kind of straight line down this edge with a circular image. So to soften it up a bit, I'm going to center align that text box. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's all I need to do now is duplicate this. Oh, do you see? It's gray. That's exactly what I was talking about. It's not letting me duplicate it. When you get that, click on something else, click back on the text box, and you'll be able to duplicate it. It's a funny uh, bug that. Yes, yeah, a little bug. Yeah. It'll get fixed. And I'm just going to duplicate, duplicate. And that's done. I'm going to duplicate the do the little things. And this is going to be my name in here. All right. Okay. Because hopefully you've got a class full of these. So let's pop that down there. And that's all I need to do now, but I'm going to pass over to Dom whilst he shows you this. Whilst Dom is showing you those steps, I'm, that's all I need to do is click in here and change this text to explain that David told the Welsh soldiers to wear a leek and that uh, David uh, restored his blind teacher's sight. So that's all I'm going to do whilst Dom is showing you the next bit is that. Okay, I'll pass it over. To oh, you're already there, Dom. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so uh i've what i did for this do the little things you know so if you're on the on the browser this is good time for you to catch up now let me just go to edit and delete that right so uh in order to get that i selected the saint david's day text and then i uh what did i do duplicated it you can see it down there duplicated it so i've got another example there then you can just go edit text uh and then i'll use the typer now it's fine do oops do the little things dot 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 if you need the um the speech marks you can press that button and then the other the other option will pop up so we've got that done now two things i'm going to do first with the color i'm going to switch it and then i'll go to because i want to make it a little bit different you see and then i'll go to the effects I'll go, I'll press the sliders underneath outline there. And then I'll just reduce the line thickness. Okay, click done. And then I'll also reduce the size of it. There we go, that kind of size. So these are dynamic, so you can 
pull them in different ways and they'll and they'll and they'll behave themselves and go in, into the right place do the little things that'll go there then i've got the choice then basically i can duplicate either of these things depending on which style i want so i think i'll probably just because it's there i'll probably do do the little things i'll duplicate that and then i'll drag that up to here and then uh if i just double click it then i can use my uh, microphone button down here or you can just type it david was born on a clip top on a stormy night full stop nice it says born on the clip top so i might have to double tap that uh and then i can go in here just modify it but that's a nice way nice thing to use there we go and then like when i did the show before you know you can just play with that however however you feel like that i think that looks good because it makes it into a box so i'm going to pop that in there and then roughly i think that is well aligned now that i've got that one duplicate pop it in there duplicate pop it in there now it's also making me realize that probably i've got more space on my left hand side than on my right hand side but that's fine so that's how you do that and then when you want to just go in here and again microphone david was a vegetarian only drank water and kept bees to make honey There we go. Nice. And again, text can be dynamic here. So you just make it a bit bigger. Uh, that'll do. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like I need to play with this a little bit more. No, there we go. That'll do. That's fine. I don't like the way honey's on the last line. Don't like that so much. But you can play around with that and you can also do the next one. And also you can choose either one of those in order to make your little name tag as well. And that would work quite nicely, I think. Right. What have you got going on here? Oh, yeah, you're playing around with all sorts of stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's just, I'm done, really. I've got the text sorted. Um, so that's all I was doing now is I found this cool uh, light thing. So I'm just, we were looking at that earlier. So I'm just going to pop those around. But yeah, I'm just I'm just fiddling now, you know? It's always yeah. fun. I put my name in the middle. I thought it was a bit weird at the bottom right. I uh, thought it was grabbed too much attention so i thought it looked nice there right at the bottom of the cross yeah so i'm done so that's all i need to do now is i need to share it so depends you, your teachers will probably tell you now what they want you to do with this maybe they want you to leave it in your files in express or maybe they want you to um save it as a um as an image file maybe somewhere else maybe you keep all your schoolwork in something like google drive or OneDrive or my files on J2E, wherever, wherever your teacher wants your work to be. If you want it to be digital, you need to download it as a PNG. If you're thinking of printing this out on paper, then I would recommend that you download this as a PDF. Okay. Um, so that's, that's how, if you need to download it, but maybe you want to kind of put this image on its own little website. Okay. Put this, put this on its own little web page. So Express will actually publish this to a web page for you. So if you click publish to web and just publish link, at the bottom there it says it's working hard, just thinking about it, publishing your design. But it'll give you a web address, a URL, and then you can send that to your friends or your family. And when they click on that link, it'll basically take them to a website, which, and that's all it'll be on that website is your one image. I'll show you now, because it's probably ready just about now. Nice. No, oh, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it there fun. it is. Okay, so I'm gonna copy the link. Okay, so I've got the link copied. And then if anybody click, you can paste that link then and send it to anybody you want. But if anybody then clicks on that link, it'll take them to this. It'll take them to a web page. And the only thing on this web page is your amazing design. Okay. Nice. Published there nice. public on the internet. Right. right. Okay. So that's me done for sharing it. How about on the iPad, Dom? Yeah. So I put do the little things in the middle. I put Dom Trainer in the bottom right there. And then if you want to share it, you can press the down arrow in the top right. That will prepare your file and save it to your camera roll. Boom. And then you can press the top right 
And then you've got the option again for creating a link. You can scroll across here and it says, see where it says copy link? Press that one and it'll do all sorts of things in the background. And that link again is its own little web page. Right. Cool. It's time to move over to the next one because we've got. 20 minutes. Let's oh, that's go. fine. Yeah, 20 minutes is plenty. Uh, before we do that, uh, guys, make sure that you tell your teachers to like this video on YouTube and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on the next live streams. It's amazing. We do these. Like, uh, we do... fans on there all the time. Yeah. And our There's all sorts of stuff going on there. Yeah. So, teachers, like this, like the page, please. Uh, sorry, subscribe to the channel. And, you know, you could give us a little like because we do a live stream to, you know, hundreds and thousands of children. Maybe we get like two likes on the video. It's a bit, uh, yeah. it's a bit sad, really, isn't it? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to make us feel happy today, give us a little like and a subscribe on the channel. That'd be amazing. Thank you very much. Right. Let's get on to challenge number two, which is this really cool dragon drawing. So um, iPad folks, I'm sorry. This is where we have to say goodbye for the moment until we get the new iPad version. Um, so if we're following on now, we're going to be on the browser. So I'm scrolling down on the challenge page. We're going to draw this dragon to begin with. Okay. So you can see this is the shape we're going to go for because we're going to have to kind of make this, 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 the dragon's beak, the, his mouth, his head, his face. And then, uh, up here, we got the, uh, you're going to insist on it. The ears, and then we got the body. Okay, so just so you know what we're kind of going for. Right on Express, I'm back on the Express homepage, and to start a new drawing, that's so all you need to do is click on this massive white rectangle that you've got in the in at the top of your screen. Okay, sketch it out. Yes, please. Let's click on that. This brings us into the Express drawing app, which is super cool. So, in the drawing app. Uh, what we want to do is, obviously, we're going to be painting the red dragon, so we need a red paintbrush. But we don't want a round paintbrush. We want a triangle-shaped paintbrush. So under the basic brushes, click on View All. And at the bottom there, the last, the very last brush in the basic brushes is the triangle brush. Okay. So with my triangle brush and red paint, I want my brush to be around 400 pixels. Okay. Don't need to be fussy about that. Roughly 400-ish is fine. And now remember that shape that we had uh, for the dragon? I'm basically going to try and recreate that. And I'm going to start off with where, where the ears were. We're going to have to do a bit of tidying up with the ears. So don't worry about that. So we're going to come down. There's the ears and the head. And then I'm going to come down on an angle for the body. Great. And then I want to get the, uh, the head, the, the face, the beak. So I'm going to kind of start around here and i'm just going to come across like that okay and that's it i'm happy with that now if you it i've done this now this is the fourth live stream i've done for this so i'm i've actually had about a bit of practice usually i have to oh, un, no. usually I have to undo undo because it takes me about five attempts so i just happened to have fluked it perfectly the first time and i'm not trying to do it because i won't get it like that again so um you know, try it a few times, guys. If you're not if you're not quite happy with it, try it again. All right. So that's we, you're going for this kind of slanted Y shape, uh, is what I would call it. Or if you're a or if you're a Back to the Future fan, it, you basically you need to paint a flux capacitor. <laughs> <laughs> you a Back to the Future fan, Dom? Yeah, I love a bit of that. Love lovely, bit lovely, of that. lovely. Let's uh, whilst you're drawing that, we'll just give some shout outs because that is you do need to concentrate on on getting that body shape. Hello, Pranda Saith U Askol Christagair. Hello, how are you? And Madani Emma Jones, Pranda or the Earth Cumlai Primary School, Dosparth D, Bluithin Pedwar. Shumai Bluithin Pedwar. And then we've got Pranda or the Earth Askol Kegidva, Bluithin Tree of Pedwar. Nice. And we've got 7S, CTWCS are in the house. <laughs> that's that's, uh, that's cool speak. Just, I just uh, thought I'd have to translate for him an editor. That's what? That's, it's cool speak. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I know. I know. I'm so cool. Yes. <laughs> right. Let's move on. So next, I am going to add some arms and legs. So with the same brush, I just want to drop the brush size down to something like 60, 70, 80, something around that kind of number. 60, 70, 80. There we go. 79, 
87, something like that. That's fine. And I'm just going to whoop as a leg. And I'm going to whoop as a leg. It's strange things going on here. And then I'm going to have uh, some arms. So the Welsh dragon, one arm is kind of going rawr, you know? So I'm going to go rawr like that. And then the other arm is going to come down like this. And with the same brush, I'm going to make my tail. So down here at the bottom, I am just going to, at the, at the dragon's bottom, I'm going to add oh, a, a tail which spikes up at the end. Because, you, because of the triangle shape, you want to make sure that your tail kind of points up at the end to get that pointy bit. That's true. And um, sh are you going to do this or shall I just press on because we're, not, we're short on time? No, no, I've got, I've, I'm doing it in the background. But yeah, great. Time, so I I'd, I'd like to have a kind of bigger spike at the end of the tail. So let's just jump the um, brush size up a little to maybe 150-ish. There we are, 176. That's fine by me. And I'm just going to click once on the end of the tail like this. There we go. Right. And now I'm getting there. What I need to do next is sort out my wing. I only need one wing because we're side on. So let's bring the brush back up to around that kind of 400. There we are, 361. That'll do me fine. Um, close to 400. And I'm. what you want to do is with your wing, you want it to come out and then down a little bit. Okay. So away from the body and then just down a bit. And then this usually takes me a few attempts. So let's give it a go. Out. And down a bit. Oh, I'm doing well today, Dom. Yeah, well. things are going well. Not yeah, things lie. are going well. Right, that's great. So I've got that sorted. Uh, next, then, let's sort out the ears because this fiasco up here looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Okay, so let's sort the ears out. So to I do that, we need, we need the eraser. So click on the eraser on the left hand side. Bring your eraser down to something between 50 and 100. So I'm going to, there we go. Something like that's fine. 78. And what I want to do is kind of just chop that top spike off. So think of that triangle at the top. I want to kind of cut out a an equilateral, is it the right word? In, I you, go, you go for it. Yeah, I don't know. It. I did maths in Welsh, see, so I don't know what that is. <laughs> Triangle, have yeah. a lot that is in Welsh. Yeah, an equilateral oh, yeah. triangle. So there we go. So we've now got the kind of the top of the ears. I've got this straight cut across the top. And now what I want to do is connect this corner here to this corner down here to kind of, oop, but day, sorry. Oh, I, oh. I zoomed in two different ways there. And we, we stepped inside the matrix there, guys. Sorry. <laughs> right okay so i'm i want to kind of connect this corner here with that corner down there there we go okay so you're just kind of curving the back of the dragon's neck and head that's great if you're happy with that great if not just undo it and try it again and now once i'm done i can just kind of delete the rest of it let's bump up my eraser so that i can get rid of that easier great if you accidentally delete a bit of your dragon just undo it Great. And now we need to split those ears into two. So let's bring the eraser right down to, there we are, 57. I'm happy with that. Oops. And let's just whoop, separate those ears out. Cool. Done. All right. Next. I want some <laughs> texture. I want some texture. The, every dragon I have met, I don't know about you, Don, but every dragon I've met has got quite rough skin. So, well, actually, apart from all, apart from one, I found shiny oh, yes. Steve. There we are. Yeah, Steve, Steve the smooth dragon, they call him. So, yeah, we're gonna, exactly so for the skin, for the texture, we're going to use the block print border brush. Block print border. So, click on that. And then with the same red color selected, I'm just going to block print in red over my dragon. Now, it works in the same color because the block print border brush actually doesn't just use one color. It kind of, whatever color you select, it uses colors similar to it. So you can see that it is adding a really subtle texture to my dragon, okay? And now I'm going to drop the size down so that I can get in here and do the ears. 
And you see that there's like bits of it uh, just kind of going out of the lines. I don't just not mind it. I actively like the fact that it's <laughs> doing that. I think it just gives my dragon. You see, I did that one on purpose. It gives my dragon a bit of a bit of character. It makes the texture look more interesting. There we go. I think, um, I think Mr. Young's probably going to pull you up again soon, but I'm just going to. Oh. Right. So it's probably about a good time for us to save this. Uh, so let's click on the top well, it left. Save automatically, doesn't it? But it gives you yeah. it gives you a nice little title you can download it. Yeah. Sorry, we're not saving it. We are naming it. It's already been mm -hmm. saved, but we haven't named it yet. So let's just save it as Red Dragon. Cool. And we're nearly done. So all I need to do now is eyes, mouth, and sort out the bottom of the wing. So let's do the eyes and mouth first. So let's jump onto a black paint for the first time. And let's go back to our triangle brush. Triangle. And for the eye, I want this to be around the 150 mark. There we are, 143, that's fine. And I'm just going to click once where I want the eye. There we go. Cool. That's great. If you're not happy with the size or the position, just undo it and try it again. And now I'm going to drop the brush size right down to kind of 30, 30 some, around 30. There we are, 27. I'm just going to give him a nice smile. There we go. Cool. Very nice. Last thing is the wing. So let's go back to the eraser. So we want the wing to be kind of fr like the bottom of a bat swing, you know? So I don't know what you call those kind of little arches uh, cut out at the bottom of it. So I'm just going to, this eraser size is fine. I'm on 57 since uh, earlier. So I'm just going to cut with the eraser these little arches in there. And then I'm just going to use the eraser then to get rid of those bits that I don't want. Yeah, very nice. Right, so Dragon is done. Let's download that guy by clicking on Download and PNG Download. So we've got 10 minutes. Have we got time for a daffodil or not? Uh, I would say no. There we are then. Okay, cool. So let's <laughs> now bring that into the all-in-one editor so that we can create an animation, an animated St. David's Day card that you can send your friends and family. Right. So to do that, let's click back on the express icon in the top left-hand corner. And we're going to start a new project. And this project is going to be a square canvas. So click on. Oh, do you know what's happened, Dom? Oh, yeah. Your mouse is gone. And I've, got a spare mouse. I've had a spare mouse charging. Okay. You can flip, flip over to me if you want. Uh, let me. Um, do you want oh, to it's, okay. it's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. Right, here we go. So uh, I'm going to click on the big blue plus in the top left-hand corner. And I'm going to choose uh, square this time. Okay, so I'm going to choose square. Great, here we go. Now then, uh, on the canvas, what I'm going to do on my device, now I'm pretty sure that we're all using um, Google Chrome. I'm pretty sure that we're all using Google Chrome. So your downloads are going to be up here in the top right-hand corner. Uh, sorry, above Express, up here, you've got the download icon. Okay? And it just shows you your recent download history. So I'm just going to drag my Red Dragon PNG that I downloaded to my device. I'm going to drag it onto my canvas like this. There he is. Okay? Right. Now then. The Welsh flag, of course, has got the red dragon in the middle. We've got white at the top, and the, the bottom half is green. So let's get him on some grass. So on the left-hand side, let's go to Elements, Shapes, and let's get a rectangle in there. And let's just pop the rectangle in. And we want the rectangle to be kind of halfway up the dragon, not halfway up the paper, not halfway up the canvas, kind of halfway up just under his arms, like that. And I'm going to change the color by clicking on Fill up in the top left here. And then going to More Colors. And right down the bottom, there's some really nice shades of green here. Great. And I'm going to drag that to the bottom of my layer stack. Fab. So that's really cool. Now then, let's get a daffodil in there. So let's go to 
let's go to uh let's try design assets Darfo dill uh no but i know there's some in shapes no so... one go into go into images Oh, sorry, icons. We can go to icons. Are there some in images as well? Are there? Yeah, there's some really good. I've got them. I've got them. I'm in, they're dancing on my screen right now. Oh, cool. Well, there we are. Well, you do that, and I'll grab this one so we can show. So I'm going to use an icon, and Dom's going to use images. So with the icon, I'm going to change it to be yellow, a lovely shade of melon. There we go. Good. And now then, let's animate it. So we've got a daffodil up there in the top corner. So with the daffodil selected, I'm going to choose animation, looping, spin. And my daffodil is going to spin around. Let's duplicate that daff. Why not? And let's put that daff in each corner. Great. And I'm then going to animate the dragon. So the dragon is having a good old bop because it's St. David's Day. So he's dancing around. So I'm going to nice. animation and I'm going to put, get him to wiggle. Have a wiggle. Nice. Why not? Right. So if I hit play now, I've got spinning daffs and a wiggling dragon. But I do need a message. So let's get some text. So I'm going to click on text, add your text. And I'm going to um, I'm going to write in here B joyful because that was one of his other famous sayings yeah Baduch, Baduch Lawen is was one of his actually his famous quote it starts off with that Baduch Lawen, yeah. be joyful it's not a great classic phrases yeah so let's we'll just put that there now i want a fun font for this i don't want my uh, my old school font for that so i'll just grab a fun font like that and you want this text to be kind of as big as it can be without bumping into the dragon or the daffs or hanging off the top or the edges of the page. Okay. And you want it to be centered like this. Cool. Then I'm just going to color the text to be maybe in a darker version of that green. Let's give the text a shadow, strong shadow in the light version of that green. Cool. Cool. And finally, let's animate the text with the same wiggle. The only thing, though, is when you do that, when you press play, the dragon and the text look as if they're connected, don't they? Yeah. So how can I get them to animate differently with the wiggle, Dom? Well, you could, uh, you could, you could group things indifferently. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to do is not that. I'm going to click on the text. <laughs> And under the Sorry, animation, I'm still busy in my own. At the, bottom, at the bottom of the screen on the left, I'm going to click on animation. You see, you've got you've got some uh, toggles, you've got some sliders here <laughs> for your animation settings. So I can bring maybe the speed of the animation for the text down and maybe the intensity up a little bit. So now that animation is going to be totally different to the dragon's animation. You see, they're going to wiggle independently of each other. Looks like I've worked harder, basically. Yeah, right. And I'm done. That's all I need to do is save it. Hey, I need to name my project as <laughs> uh, Dragon Card. Dragon E Card. That's what we call these. These are E Cards. Of course. Okay. And again, what do you want to do this? Well, I want to be able to save it in some way. Oh, I just want to say that Kyle has uh, has said that I've nailed the drawing. So Mr. Kyle T. Webster came up with this wonderful uh, activity. And for him to give me that praise makes me very happy indeed. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you very much for this amazing activity for St. David's Day. And thanks for your kind words. And sorry that we didn't uh, uh, get time to make the daffodil. We ran out of time. Sorry, Kyle. All right. So let's, um, let's get this shared. So you can download it as an MP4. Click download. I'll download an MP4 file to your device, to your computer, which you can then drag into wherever you store your digital work. Or if you want to do the same, if you want Express to host your animation on a web page, just click share, publish to web, publish link. And again, it's going to create a website. And the only thing on that website is going to be your animation. It's going to be playing all the time. It's going to be really cool. 
Okay, so at the bottom of the screen, you can see it's publishing my design at the moment. Once it's ready, it'll give me the link, which you can share with your friends and family, and they'll be able to see an online version uh, of your animation. Dom, hey, let's have a look at yours, Dom. I haven't seen yours yet. You ready? I, I, just, I, oh. I just changed the grass on this. I've changed the grass. Hang on. Hey. Oh, he's got, actually, he's got real grass. Oh, and some music as well. Have a banging happy day today. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, nice. The dragon's yeah, having a rave. Yeah, why not? Very cool. That's, Very that's cool. Some real grass. None of this green shape nonsense. <laughs> yeah. Well, there we go. I actually played my own tune. You know, it's not from the it's not from the library. I actually played my own tune. Did you do? On my leak. On your... <laughs> That's how uh, I got my soundtrack in. I don't know. There's so I much. I don't know what's it all about. There's so much you say that is lies. I don't. I've just. I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> right then, wrap it up there. That was great. Thank you very much for that. Awesome. Yeah. And, um, what should people do? Uh, what should the people do before they leave? They need to like and subscribe. They need to like this Please video, don't. subscribe to the Please channel, don't. okay, yeah. and Did teach. You know, um, you know, Carl T. Webster is putting up drawing lessons all the time at the moment, and they're all going to come through. So you've got to like this and subscribe. And then also, we just put a pollination lesson plan up there as well, and there's all sorts coming through. So have yeah. a look on there. That's where you need to go. Yeah. Register for the next sessions, guys. Bit.ly forward slash Adobe Leaders. And I'm sure yeah. that I'm sure that your teacher has been taking photos of you doing this today, this activity today. And if you're sharing this on social media so that your uh, parents can see what you've been up to today, then please tag us in there. Tag us oh, in yeah. there. And Kyle would love to see it as well. So Kyle, Kyle Webster, he's on all the social media as well. Yeah, Kyle Just, Webster. Tag us in your posts so that we can see the work. There's nothing we like more than uh, checking social media and seeing that we've been tagged in some photos of you guys having fun working through these designs. All right. I like, I like checking the social media. I like looking at your designs, and I like nibbling on a leak while I'm doing it. Yes. Well, I'm sure you do. Yeah. Especially today on St. David's Day. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks very much. Remember to get your swag form in. Uh, children, make sure that you tell your teachers to fill up the swag form so that we get your swag out to your schools. Thanks for joining us, and make sure yeah. that you join us on the next one. We've got World Book Day coming up next week, and we've yes. got some super cool activities lined up for that too. Cool. Can I end us out with a yeah. bit of Deed Goel Dewi Hapis? Deed Goel Dewi Hapis, Yaun Ichigid. Hoil Vaur.